Maybe we'll just take a nap here and we'll probably wake up <laughs> the next trying time. To think. I'm trying to think, like, what do I do? Like, uh, okay, we've gone the white nationalist route, we've gone the <laughs> southerner route. What, what else, where else can we go here? I see why he dropped stuff from his inventory, because it is getting pretty full through here. Oh, yeah. God, can you imagine getting to this point and having your inventory full and being like, wait, will I need the pan pipes again? <laughs> this is why there's shit all over the forest, because people can only carry eight things at once. <laughs> it's true of everyone, too, yeah. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Can you imagine what fireberry wine must taste like? Well, it will taste different from one minute to the next, right? <laughs> Apparently. Does not have a long shelf life. Like you can take it between two rooms. <laughs> yeah, you can actually... It'll last forever. You just can't transport it, it seems. Wow. So as long as you Walls made the fireberry wine and drank it in the same room, it would be fine. Yeah, look, there are two different, uh, opals, fuck, I don't know, what's a green gem, peridots? Emeralds. He just emeralds. said emeralds. Oh, I didn't. The walls are made of emeralds. I've, I've stopped listening to Brandon long ago. <laughs> Everybody Brandon stopped doesn't... listening to him. That's why he had to buy an AR-15. So listen to him now! <laughs> Brandon does not share my viewpoints. <laughs> how many of these goddamn stones do we have to get? I don't know. It depends on how many it takes to finally put that harlot in her place. That harlot? What are we... What? We're going to a stoning later. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You do not want to be the only person without any stones at a good old-fashioned stoning. This is very true. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to glue them all together to make Stone Granddad a new bride. <laughs> it's like Frankenhooker. <laughs> so... I, I guess this is we're going to go help out the dandelion puffs somehow. Oh, is that what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, they, they said if, like, they were like, oh, we can't do this thing because we can only float, but you could do it. Oh, you can come and build this altar and then I, yeah, I sacrifice guess, I you on it or something. Yeah, we gotta go find a goat now. Uh-oh, our fireberries are almost out. No, but we got more. We got. We've always got more. Whew. That was a close <laughs> one. <laughs> See, here we go. I'm gonna help these dandelion puff balls out. <laughs> People who live in this cave just or, are really or lazy about taking down their Christmas lights. Yeah. We're not quite ready to talk to those dandelion puffs just yet. We're yeah, I, we probably need another fucking rock. God damn, Brandon! I don't even remember. We have some gold. I don't know what that where that came from. <laughs> we we got it when we went outside and saw the moon. Oh. For some reason, I don't know what we're gonna do with our Eisenschlüssel. <laughs> Most of these games, you just have to pick up every goddamn thing you see. Yeah, but this game, like, punishes you for that, because there's all that shit on the ground that we didn't need. Yeah. What are we doing down here? <laughs> I think T0815 might be playing a joke on us now. This is actually just video playing in a loop. <laughs> Oh, get the fireberry! Oh, God! We're back at the beginning? Jeez, I didn't even... I don't even know how that happened. How are we doing that? We just tossing it? <laughs> yep. Me That's good sure. enough. Looks like I'll need to toss in more rocks. Mm. 
made it again. Very... It must need it more seems... rocks, though. <laughs> yes! This is too easy. I really don't think this is how gravity works. <laughs> you got too cocky, Brandon. <laughs> Good thing we got an extra rock. Yeah. I did it! I can get back outside. Life is really okay. just rich and full of experience now. <laughs> I still don't. Okay, so our end, our kind of end goal here is to somehow get the dandelion puffs out, or do we just not care about them? Uh, do we literally yeah, just yeah. have to pass by them to get to the rock? But they're like a total non sequitur. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Music changed out here. Hmm. <laughs> Something's happening down Just there. Jump down the well. Something's happening down there. I've said that before. <laughs> huh? A moonstone. I'd pick up the earth stone. Maybe that one. Back to the dragon cave. <sighs> I don't... Could we not have brought that one stone with us before? I mean, at least put it, you know, around here. So that... The the moonstone? Yeah. Oh, uh, it floated up to the top of the well when we threw the coin in. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I switched screens for a <laughs> moment there and... I fell asleep for a little while. <laughs> so we'll get it all to even out eventually. We got our note. We got our fluta. That apple—it's gonna—that apple is gonna be one of those things where you have to pick it up on the first screen, and then it's not gonna come into play until the final battle. You just be transporting it around. Yeah. Now we have. 20 miles of caves again <laughs> this uh this game for its time it does have i mean like the the soundtrack is you know like i'm i'm digging the soundtrack and uh it's got pretty good graphics it just mostly suffers from like i hate the main character and uh <laughs> the the story is just typical i mean how, like can you even imagine writing an adventure game um no. Trying to. It, it, I I think you would have to approach it like okay. The, the main character has to do four things in order to achieve the end goal. You know, like maybe he has to collect these four things or whatever, and then you just have to spool these uh uh oh uh, Rube Goldberg esque. Uh, machinations in order for each one of them to happen. All right, we are going to free these fucking puffs. Here we go. <laughs> the moonstone fits. I'm brilliant. <laughs> the whole place is lit up with moonlight. Thank you. Thank you. And now, as we now promised... we require blood. <laughs> Oh, I those dandelion puffs totally just fucked One him over. One of the over. gems on my That's amulet is now glowing Whatever. purple. What sort of spell did that give us, I wonder? If orange is healing, is purple damage? Maybe. It's an attack spell. Oh. Now, why are we still having to get fireberries? It just said when we got the moonstone that the entire cave is lit up now. Also, 
it really seems as if those those creatures died when we did that. <laughs> so I don't know if we did a good job of rescuing them. Well, they're not trapped in eternal torment anymore. We'll they just were floating. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Fuck. <laughs> Sometimes the sweet release of death is the best that you can hope for. <laughs> it's very German. <laughs> These fireberries seem to be lasting a really long time. Or else I zoned out for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think you just stopped paying attention for a second. Because we keep picking them up. What do you think happens if you eat them? Uh, that's a good question. I just kind of keep playing for this, praying for the sweet release of death, which in a German way is <laughs> like saying, I can't go on. <laughs> there, I, I wasn't working on that one for a while. What, are we not getting the apple? <laughs> I guess we don't need it. I guess T0185, like, at some point, reading the walkthrough was like, I didn't even need that goddamn apple. Or maybe the apple's there to, like, help you... Oh, maybe it'll, like, heal you if you get hurt, but since he got the healing spell... I don't know. Or maybe you have to leave that apple there until it rots away, turns into seeds, grows into a tree. And then your grandson <laughs> comes back and finishes the quest. Death is really just another part of life. It is the great cycle. <laughs> like Brandon turns into Matthew McConaughey from True Detective Season 1. <laughs> We're all just shit on this giant flying disc. <laughs> One day the great Atuine will just decide to shake us all off. <laughs> In the audio audiobooks they pronounce it Artuin. That ain't right. I, I don't know <laughs> if that is correct or not, or if they just decided what the hell, but that's that's how uh at least like 13 audiobooks in and that's how they pronounce it so. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna go in the ice cave no this isn't the ice cave oh. this is fucking hector's cave hector's cave herbert or uh, helius <laughs> <laughs> the the ai always makes him go try out that fucking path up there and it's never right and i just want to shake the ai by its stupid lapels and be like why why it's just background and even if it weren't background that's not the way we clicked <laughs> fuck that gem that wouldn't have worked in the cave <laughs> this one though that one looks like the first one we picked up oh my god Book of Karandia, you and your goddamn gems. Wait, catch a tear first. <laughs> oh, damn it. I could jump up on these leaves like platforms. Going all the way back to the beginning. I love this. Let's go flirt with that 12 year old boy some more. Those were good times, weren't they? <laughs> Seems like only yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> gonna need that you know how we can tell because <laughs> he picked it up <laughs> look at look at how stupidly he walks you're right like his legs just get tinier when he walks he, just... <laughs> he points his toes like a like a liposonor stallion <laughs> Special reference for all those millennials out there. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell that was. <laughs> well, do, I, do. I hear the millennials are really into dressage these days, so 
Are they? Yeah. Like pageantry and shit. Horse dancing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's totally a thing. <laughs> so it's one of those things where you wonder, like, how did that start? You know? <laughs> Whose idea was that? Who's, who who was like, okay, you know, I've I've domesticated this beast, and uh, I can travel now, so that's cool. But maybe they want to dance. Maybe if we made them dance. <laughs> it probably started like all religion and Scottish cuisine with a dare. Nah. <laughs> Bet you can't make it dance. <laughs> well, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> trying to remember my ballet terms. I will have it culotting. No, not culottes. That's not a ballet term. <laughs> <laughs> pirouette. Look at that uh, in, in the well, that uh, mirror image. That's a beautiful mirror image, but it has nothing to do with what the well looks like. <laughs> Out taking our sapphire garnet and topazes for a walk. <laughs> like you do. We went through every goddamn uh, room in this cave and there was no Malcolm. Oh, except maybe to the top? Maybe Malcolm's at the top. Okay. He's just like one thing away. Like, what the fuck is that kid doing? <laughs> I like how that entrance way up at the top of that screen looks like a throat and uvula yeah that's where the real dragon is oh god how many of these I don't even remember what get there the could be the what's in here that we can add this to uh well we had a like there was a place that we went where the moon was when we were outside yeah yeah, the moon, we didn't go past that, right? There was another door. Yeah, we just picked up the coin and took it back to the well. Oh, there's also this purple spell, teleport. Ah. Oh, I see. We turn into floaty puffball. Oh. All like you right. do. Like and then we do. don't need fireberries, apparently. Fuck Cause, yeah. Because we glow. Oh, we got another... We didn't even need that fucking apple. <sighs> We're probably going to have to get, like, two more and then juggle them later. <laughs> to We juggle them, and then when Malcolm throws knives at us, they hit the apples. Or we that... juggle two apples and a knife, and we slice the apples while juggling them. That looks like a fucking sci-fi vista if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Hmm. If there's a merchant near here, I'll get new socks. What? Get new <laughs> socks. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> just like, did I leave the oven on? Like that? Just <laughs> so non sequitur. Look, anytime I hear someone say something ridiculously stupid. Oh my head. What am I doing here? Did you transport me magically? You got hit on the head, oh, and I dragged you. He totally got date raped by this woman. Man, I like how apparent, you? apparently current fashion in this Zambia. kingdom is the over-the-shoulder look. Yeah, the ready. asymmetrical dress. Right. You were a child the last time I saw you. So, what's in the cauldron? A potion for time travel. Drinking some soup. No, this is my laundry. Oh. Hey, could you do socks? <laughs> Did she stole my gems. At least get all the gems <laughs> activated on your amulet. I have two. Two? Probably healing and will-o'-wisp. They said they didn't have much magic left. Nobody has much magic left. She's got a huge Can garlic sock me? over there. <laughs> Why don't you just go up to the castle and give it a try with what you've got? If you pull that chain that's hanging Fine down in the middle me. of the room, does it I'll just, go, like, flush the cauldron? <laughs> oh, didn't Darm do anything? He recommended I come see you. Well, I thought she was going to take off her dress there for a second. Okay, I'll give you what I can, but I don't care if you are the prince. I'm not giving Give up him my your beats by Dre headphones. Or my enchanted aquarium. <laughs> the prince. 
Who's a prince? They didn't tell you? I can't believe they would do this. Prince is my interior decorator. Listen, Brandon, we're in trouble. And so the purple. Go to the enchanted. We gotta fountain. fill another ten minutes here, and, and I don't really have any more lines. <laughs> I'll get things set up for your potions. This is just a whole other part of the game. <laughs> they really do just screw you over for not knowing in advance what inventory you need. Hey, look, I'm just going to leave all this shit on your floor. Is that cool? It seems like the, the ice key that we're carrying around in our pocket oh, might have melted by now. A lot. I, I think it's just a gray key. I think the ice spell only affected that one room. It says Eisenschlüssel. Oh. Well, maybe the maybe the ice melted off around the normal key by now. <laughs> ah, Brandon, oh, I don't even know if it's worth it anymore. I have a few tricks up my sleeve. Are you ready now? Shall we joust? At this moment, I only seek water from the fountain. What a shame! My finger bath. You notice how sometimes now, Brandon is a little bit British. Fun. Yeah. Some hide and seek will amuse us both. If you need water, you'll have to fix the fountain first. I cannot tell you where to look, for that is neither fair nor fun. <laughs> oh, it's like Ash from Evil Dead 2 face. So much for enchantment. Is so all we need is water? Couldn't we use the laundry water? <laughs> It has to be magic water. <laughs> Without added fluoride. I live in Portland, hi. <laughs> boop, 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 We're gonna have to walk all the way back the to the first ruined, screen. And there is no water. Malcolm was there. Let me explain, Brandon. Without magic water, none of my potions are possible. This cauldron can mix up potions that, when combined, Shack will give the ability to fly to the castle. <laughs> but you need the water, right? I'll find some. Maybe some splashed out. Or I can wring some out of the moss. Now, what's this about a prince? Bring the magic water from the fountain first, and then we'll talk. Can we maybe can use do the it, scroll Brandon. to roll a joint?